The life of young, vibrant, and typically busy mother Vanessa Robinson changed forever in the most devastating circumstances on a chilly night at the end of May 2010. That night she lost her two sons, Chase, aged eight, and Tyler, six, to the silent killer, carbon monoxide poisoning, predominantly because of a gas space heater that had not been serviced and had been left on overnight to keep the house warm. The deaths were equally devastating for the boy's father, Scott Robinson. Both parents say their lives will never be the same again. Vanessa also suffered dreadfully from the effects of carbon monoxide poisoning in the incident, and it will be a long time before she recovers physically, if ever. The loss of the children is something she and Scott will never recover from. Both Vanessa and Scott remain busy, now working with others to ensure the deaths of Chase and Tyler were not in vain. They are determined that what happened to their beloved family will not happen to anyone else. How are you meant to know that you're safe? I think that everybody should, if they do have a gas heater, that they should definitely get it checked. I mean, how can you rest at night? I mean, that's the thing, you want to put your children and yourself to bed and know that everybody's going to wake up in the morning, you know. Nobody, as I said before, nobody wants to bury their children. Nobody wants to bury a loved one. And for something that's so easy to fix, it's very important to have their heater checked every two years. It's a thing that we didn't know about, and I'm sure there's a lot of other people there that didn't know about it either. To us, it's pretty hard that Jason Tyler had to be an example. Sometimes I wish at night that it was someone else. But they were beautiful boys and we have to make something of it. We can't let, let them just fall by the wayside and be unfruitful. Something, need, something needs to be done. Something need, good needs to happen out of this. Vanessa and Scott have joined with Energy Safe Victoria to help spread this vital message and are appearing in advertisements promoting the need for regular appliance maintenance. Carbon monoxide is a silent killer. It killed our boys. So get your gas heater service so this won't happen to you. The plumbing industry has an integral role to play in ensuring gas appliances are working safely in homes right across the state. And this presentation outlines your responsibilities as tradespeople. Energy Safe Victoria for many years has been running an awareness campaign about the dangers of carbon monoxide poisoning. The deaths of Chase and Tyler Robinson are a tragic reminder of these dangers. Energy Safe Victoria and the Plumbing Industry Commission have worked together to educate the public to have their appliances serviced on a regular basis. We have seen an unprecedented surge in the demand for gas appliance safety inspections. Since this campaign has begun, we have been made aware of a number of gas appliances that have been detected and disconnected due to producing carbon monoxide. Lives have been saved thanks to the hard-working plumbers and gas fitters across Victoria. Our latest public awareness campaign has focused on gas heaters. However, all gas appliances can produce carbon monoxide, so they must be serviced regularly. When this campaign first commenced, our technical call line received many calls from tradespeople requesting information of how to test for carbon monoxide. We have produced this DVD to answer some of those questions. Not everyone can service a Type A gas appliance. You must be licensed or registered as a gas fitter in gas servicing Type A with the Plumbing Industry Commission. You will need a CO analyzer or detector to complete the safety inspection. This DVD will show the gas fitter the procedure they must follow to test for carbon monoxide spillage from a gas heater. If you have any further queries, please call our technical information line, which is on your screen now. Carbon monoxide is called the silent killer for very good reasons. You can't see it and you can't smell it, but it claimed nine Victorian lives between 2000 and 2011. In addition to the fatalities, there have been hundreds of near misses with people admitted to hospital suffering the effects of carbon monoxide poisoning. 
The initial stages of CO poisoning include tiredness, mild headaches, shortness of breath and flu-like symptoms, while extreme poisoning can lead to confusion, loss of consciousness and ultimately death. Some people are especially sensitive to CO. This includes people with heart disease, anemia, young children, unborn babies and the elderly. CO poisoning can occur due to a lack of appliance servicing where airways become blocked with dust or lint, blocked flues caused by bird nests or structural failure, appliances being used with the wrong gas type or at the wrong pressure, appliance malfunction such as a cracked heat exchanger. All these situations can cause combustion products to spill into the atmosphere. This program is designed to assist gas fitters to ensure appliances are properly checked so that heaters remain safe. Australian standard AS4553 gas space heating appliances states, there shall be no leakage or spillage of combustion products from an open fluid appliance, its flue or draft diverter, five minutes after ignition when the appliance is operated at nominal gas consumption. Other Australian standards that have a similar requirement are AS4556, indirect gas-fired ducted air heaters, AS4558, decorative gas log and other fuel effect appliances. For ducted central heating systems, AS4556 states, ducted air heaters shall be so constructed that there is no leakage of circulating air into the heat exchanger or of flu products into the circulating air system. Testing for carbon monoxide gas from open fluid gas appliances must be carried out in two stages. First, test for spillage with only the appliance operating and secondly, test for negative pressure flue gas drawback by turning on any extraction fans within the building. Don't carry out these tests together because you will not know whether the fault lies with the appliance installation or is caused by negative pressure when exhaust fans are run. The higher star rating for new houses is compromising the need for fixed ventilation required by open fluid gas appliances to operate safely. As a result, the second test should be carried out after the spillage test has been completed. In order to test for CO, you will need a carbon monoxide analyzer. Ensure that your equipment has been calibrated within the past 12 months. The supplier of your equipment may be able to assist you with this requirement. Ensure all indoor gas appliances are not operating. Prior to lighting the appliance, carry out a safety and installation inspection, checking the appliance, the flue and the ventilation available to the appliance. Note the area in which the heater is located. Also inspect the flue from the outside where possible. Look for blockages such as a bird's nest, breaks or holes in the flue and whether the flue is in good condition. Especially look for sooting at the flue cowl, as this may indicate the gas appliance has not been operating properly. Turn on your detection equipment and take a background reading in separate locations within the building, as the problem may be caused by a separate source and not the gas appliance. Light the gas and operate with the burner and fan, if fitted, on the higher setting and check the flame where possible. With the exception of decorative log fires, a blue flame is considered to be an indication of normal operation for the gas heater. In the case of decorative log effect space heaters and appliances, yellow tipping is considered normal, as these appliances are designed specifically for a luminous effect. Place the CO detection equipment sampling probe at all locations where leakage or spillage of combustion products can occur including the draft diverter relief openings, heat exchanger joints, flue connection and the base of flue production collection hoods. 
Continue monitoring for leakage or spillage and, in particular, note the readings taken after the appliance has been operating for five minutes. When sampling at the draft diverter opening, please ensure that the sampling probe is positioned adjacent to the opening and not inside the draft diverter. A CO reading will more than likely be evident when the flue is cold. It may take some minutes for the flue to draw properly. The reading on the test instrument should diminish to the original background level reading at the end of the five minute test cycle. If not, then the appliance is leaking or spilling CO and the fault will need to be rectified or the heater disconnected for the safety of the occupants. Leave the appliance operating at maximum gas consumption. Shut all windows and exterior doors and then turn on exhaust and extraction fans one at a time. After turning on each fan, check for CO by passing the detection equipment sampling probe over the draft diverter relief openings. If the appliance room fan can be turned down, then set the appliance room fan to the lower setting and check for CO again at the draft diverter relief openings. If any CO reading is detected, it will mean a negative pressure within the building has been created by the exhaust fans and flue products are being drawn back down the flue and dispersed into the building. To prevent negative pressure developing in the building due to the operation of exhaust and extraction fans, increased ventilation from outside the building through walls, floors or ceiling space is needed. Discharge of spillage from central heating units located outside the building, in the roof or under floor, may in many cases go unnoticed. What may be found is CO being emitted into the building where the heat exchanger has cracked or seals within the combustion chamber have been damaged. Ensure all indoor gas appliances are not operating. Carry out a safety inspection of the appliance. Turn on your detection equipment and take a background reading in separate locations within the building as the problem may be caused by a separate source and not the gas appliance. Light the gas and operate with the burner and fan if fitted on the higher setting. Place the detection equipment sampling probe in the airstream of the nearest duct outlet, floor register or ceiling register. Monitor for CO for a further 10 minutes. If any cracks or openings within the heat exchanger of the central heater are present, combustion products that contain CO can be dispersed throughout the building. If CO readings are evident, they may only be minor initially. Please note, however, as the heat exchanger heats up and cracks and openings expand, more combustion products can enter the supply airstream and flow into the building. If the CO level exceeds the initial background levels, then the appliance is leaking or spilling CO. Always check lower levels of room sealed gas space heaters as these appliances may incorporate a condensate drain at the base of the heat exchanger and this could be an area where combustion products may discharge into the building. If you find CO spillage, turn off the gas heater and disconnect it from the gas supply. Notify the owner or occupier that you are required to do this under law to make the dwelling safe. Advise the owner or occupier to have their gas heater repaired or replaced. If you need further information or assistance, contact ESV's Gas Technical Information Line on 1800 652 563 or go to our website www.esv.vic.gov.au